Pesator alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much-anticipated main event. Remember what we talked about. Opening three minutes of this scheduled 12-rounder. He scored well after being hit himself. Ward's edge is speed. He can get in and out. He can get you offensively. He can get away from you defensively. Yeah, he has radial tires, and you got to take some air out of those tires. No better place or way to do that than go downstairs. Use your feet! Ward's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. He snaps a jab. Get off the ropes! Clinching his opponent. Nobody likes to see that. Gets rid of that body shot. Rush is showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Targeting a left hand down low. Halfway through round number one. Nice defense. Good block okay, by man. Ward. away from those headshots with his defense up top. Precision work with the left hand by Ward. Good flush shot upstairs. Tremendous pace being set early on here between these two. Can't see this fight going the distance with this pace. No, not unless something changes, like moving their heads a little bit. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. <laughs> Very well done by both men to fire off those right hands. Not able to land the headshot. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Coming to the end of this round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer or do you like the pace to be a little slower? Does it depend on each guy? No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fighting a guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Effective work with that flush overhand right. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Ward. That's okay. Pay him back. To the head he goes with a left hand. Jab can do so much there. He used it well that time. Teddy, early on here, you cannot stress enough how much good comes from going to the body. And you can't stress how many times you heard your parents tell you as a kid, put that change into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Well, body punches add up. Halfway through round number two. Blocks the headshot. He 
gets hit, but he gives it right back. Crusher's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Good defense just covering up down low. Good defensive skill. He has his target. He lands the straight right. Ward's been hurt by that shot. Rusher's right hand scores well. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Keep going. And we come to the end of round number two. Keep the Rusher's attitude of being effective and aggressive worked out well. His opponent is damaged. I need to see some counter punches, okay? Whatever he misses, counter. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard, he looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. I think there's substance to him. And the only way that you find the medal of a person is when you test him, when you push him up against the cliff. And he's being tested now, and he's shown what he's made of. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Keep working buddy. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Keep your head moved. Solid right by Crusher. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And a sharp counter punch by Crusher. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. There it is, coming with the jab by Ward. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Ward's offense has completely gone away here, it seems. He was hurt earlier, and now all he's doing is worried about what could be coming to get him again. Yeah, he was on the highway earlier going about 90, and now all of a sudden he's taking those back roads going about 20. How long until the police catch up to him or his opponent pulls him over? off the hook look at that good body shot the right hand came home nice. and this round comes to an end wards out in front as we take a look at teddy's scorecard for the first time tonight but they're still in a mode of just feeling each other out neither man has taken control of this bout so far
Nice block by Ward. Hada boy. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Right to the head with that right. He's tired! He's tired! Parries that punch away. My kid, focus! Rusher's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Ward's cut is below the eye. He's going to have to really watch out for that. You don't want to damage that area. Halfway through round number four. Crusher's blocking ability is doing well for him there. And he's holding. defensively by Crusher. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Crusher's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land, but this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happened to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two Aspen and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. <laughs> Not getting it done with that straight right hand. Come on! And he just holds on there. Ward's right hand scores well then. Crusher's ruined with that punch right there. Side to side, move your head. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good block there by Ward. Ward's really impressing us here, defensively impressing us. I mean, it's so easy to say, wow, look at the punching, look at the power. 
but Teddy, you gotta appreciate what he's doing with defense. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why you can say that you appreciate, you know, the aggression or the power and all these things. He can afford to be aggressive because he doesn't get hit. Final 10 seconds of this fifth Working round. The body. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Now hugging on the inside. Keep moving. Keep moving. Where's the body kick? Body shots. Pressure's making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. Now his opponent got away from that uppercut. Crusher's missing punches here. Now the good news is he's throwing punches, but Teddy needs to be more accurate. Well, can I give you the bad news? Please. He's throwing them to the wrong place. He's throwing them upstairs. He should throw them downstairs. Go. This guy's moving his head. You go downstairs, you take away that head movement. Then you find them upstairs. Halfway through round six. He just missed that shot up top. Step back counterpunch there. Crusher's scored upon by a left hand. Taking a bit of a breather here, just tying up, hugging his opponent at this point. Hey, look, even the great race cars, Indianapolis 500, bing, 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 zing, zing, zing. They're going around that track, 250 miles an hour. They pull in for a pit stop. They got to get refueled. This is pit stop. Get a little gas. hurt right there he is hurt you know his opponent's doing a good job of solid a huge shot raised down and he's on the floor and he has a decision to make a choice to make right now Question becomes after that knockdown, and he has gotten up. How does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Good block by Crusher. Working our way towards the bell. Last ten seconds of the sixth. <laughs> and that's the end of round six. Ward's in control of this fight, Teddy. Sometimes you can just look at it and see it as clear as day. He's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, I have my head on my scorecard, too. But right now, he can't afford to coast because this guy is still dangerous. He has to still stay on his P's and Q's. Crusher's trying to get back in this round after being knocked down in the last round. But with just 60 seconds between rounds, Teddy, how much can really happen? How much can really benefit a fighter who was knocked down? Well, a lot has to happen. First of all, you hit him with that sponge. Some cold water on top of the head where you revigorate him a little bit. You know, get his senses back a little bit. 
end, you have to talk to him. Once he calms down, once you physically get him back on track, you look to see... He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. At this point, I'd start to question what happened in training camp. Rusher's got nothing left in the tank. No, I would question that too, you know. There it is! Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five. So he goes down but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Halfway through the seventh round. A headshot blocked. How about that exchange? Ward's head movement is really a factor in this fight. I mean, who would have thought it? Just one of the aspects of defense could be such a big key to this fight right now. Yeah, it is. And his opponent right now is not making adjustments. Matter of fact, he's starting to drown himself because he's going more and more head hunting. And the more he does it, the more he misses, the more frustrated he gets, the more tired he gets. He needs to make a change downstairs to the place that's not moving, down to the body. Now he ties up there. Makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in the seventh. <laughs> Keep pushing. <laughs> Teddy scorecard through seven rounds. Ward's in complete control. There's no other way to see it. What he needs to do now, I assume is make sure that he does not get sloppy. Yeah, no gambling right now. We did some gambling. You know, if you're in the corner, you say, hey, look, guy, we did some gambling early on when we had to, and we got what we wanted. We got his respect. We got control of this fight. Now it's time to just stay with boxing 101. Good fundamentals, good defense. Take it home. Rusher's basically doing exactly what we've always seen out of him, and that's after he's been knocked down and affected in this fight. Yeah, you know, there comes a time you have to make adjustments. That time has come for him. Throwing a lot of punches here. Now, his opponent is showing very, very good movement. What adjustments can he make to deal with that movement? Well, Joe, when you're fighting a guy who's smart, who's hard to hit, first of all, you got to shorten those punches up. If they're wide, they have no chance at all. And you got to go to the one place that's not moving. Guess where that is? Downstairs. The halfway point of round number eight. Pace yourself. Yep, yep. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
rusher's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there stationary and expect the night to go your way. This fight is going opposite of how he needs it to go right now. Well, maybe it's not, Joe. Maybe he's given up already. You know, it's all about what's going on in the mind of a fighter. Maybe he's given in, and this is his way, believe it or not, of getting the ref to stop this fight. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Good exchange. He fires back. Each other, the exchange was something special. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's see go. him holding on. <laughs> Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Keep moving. Locks that belt line well. Ward's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Halfway through the ninth round. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Nice work! Nice work! Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Ward showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Shot, but he parries it away. <laughs> Rusher's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Ward's corner can do nothing but just applaud him as he returns to the stool. Yet another round where he put forth more and more punishment to his opponent. Yeah, well, they're applauding him, and they should thank his opponent for doing an imitation of a heavy bag. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. That's it, just like that. Rusher's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Do that again. Good looking counter punch. Beat him to the bone! 
fires right back at him. Oh, you got this one. That's a good block by Ward. And we've reached the halfway point of round 10. <laughs> Good way to protect the midsection. Keep moving. Keep moving. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. <laughs> Comes right back at him with a left hand. That's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Coming to the end of round number 10. 10 seconds to go. Good block there by Ward. And this round comes to an end. this fight. I need you to take some chance. Well, he's well ahead on your scorecard, Teddy. Here we are in round number 11. At this point, hey. Just make it happen. Just get through. Don't let him land that one lucky punch. Yeah, exactly. He's been sitting at the blackjack table all night long over there in Vegas. And all he has to do right now is control his bets. You know, don't go crazy. Pull back on your bets a little bit. Keep that money in your pocket. Able to dismiss that body shot. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Halfway through this round here. Keep working the body. Blocked by Ward. Unable to land clean by Crusher. Crusher's got a way of just getting away from that punch. seconds of this 11th round. Out. 
nothing's changing course here. His corner knows it, he knows it, and his opponent knows it. Found it's much the same. He's in control. Yeah, he has a great rhythm. I mean, everything's going right. He's like a great singer up there on the stage, hitting all the right notes, just sailing along. Turns on that exchange. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. He got hit, but he sent it right back. Able to cover up that gut. Good return fire that time. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Crusher's been stunned. Oh! And he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying. Falling like a sack of potatoes. victory he scores the knockout here tonight how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.